Okay, let me try to play, um, well, I'll actually talk about it more than play. What's new? So it's a pretty straight ahead tune, right? A, A, B, A, four eight bar phrases. And usually when you have an A, A, B, A tune, it's just that there's the three A's are similar and the B has some kind of relationship to those initial A's, but it's a different section. In this case, it goes to the four chord. So if we think of the tune, the, the kind of the concept he's putting it together with the or organizational method of holding is using this relative major and re relative minor. If that's C major, there's the relative minor. If we're in C, A minor, that's the relative major. So the other way to use that is relative major and parallel major. So C major to C minor. So we're going from one major seven to one minor seven. So it's the same organization notes. You understand how the one major is just one major seven, two minor seven, three minor seven, four major seven, five seven, six minor seven, seven minor seven, flat five, we're back to one. Now if you take that same set, that same starting point, or I don't know, either way you want to think it, if we think of the key C major, but you take those same set of same set of notes and chords, but start them all on the A minor seven, which is our relative minor, you get a different organization of the same notes, and it's based off A minor and seven, that's called relative minor. One, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, one. So that's where a lot of those chords come, they're called sub they're just minor. Think of them. They come from relative minor. And they call those subdominant minor chords. There's, you don't have to really remember that. Basically, that's the organization of the chords. They're based on C, on A minor. So if you take that same A minor pattern and put it on C minor, we go from C major, C major seven, with all our standard notes, and we change that to C minor. One, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, one. We, we change the pattern of C major to C minor, and the chords also reflect those things. So we come up with one minor, two minor seven, flat five, flat three major seven, that's where that chord comes. Four minor, five minor, flat six major seven, and then flat seven to one. So this tune, that's what the whole tune is, just plays around with those things. We go from one to six, and then two, five, to flat six major seven, which is from C minor, parallel minor. I mean, you can think of this, I, I don't think about it all. I, 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 always, I always just, when flat six, you know it's from parallel minor. You, you don't have to really, but what, they, what he's doing anyway, besides that, <clears throat> this is flat from C minor, but it's A minor, but he goes to a temporary parallel minor of that flat six major seven. So we're kind of establishing A flat. It's just a game you can play around at target tonal areas. So if we're going from C major, six, now we're gonna do a two, five of flat six. This becomes a tonal, a tonal target with six. And then we're gonna go back to C, but now we're going to the parallel minor. So instead of C major, we went from C major to A flat major. Now we're in C minor. There's that A flat major. And they always use 5-7 to kind of reinforce going back to C minor, but he actually goes to C major. So if you're going to comp or improv over that, the way you can do it is you pick target areas. So I'm kind of emphasizing this as 6 minor. If I take, ah, I need a rhythm. I'm reinforcing that A minor 7 by putting a 5, alter 5 on 2, 5. I, I know it's going to be just a straight seven, but I always alter it. I approach it, right? I'm using that all just to help set it up. And all those chords come from similar relations, like, like I'm using that parallel minor relations, just they're a little different. But it, there's that thing I'm reinforcing. got a comp and the, the the B section is the same thing just starting from the four chord. So I'll kind of comp through it. Uh, there's a rhythm. Pretty slow. I think it's uh, 88 and that's just a pretty straight. End. I'm using 
that same tonal areas, I'm just kind of playing. When you get comfortable enough to build to hear tonal areas and not have to shuffle, you have room to kind of approach those and it's like you're taking a blues. You have a one chord, you got all that first bar to do all this stuff. Well, you get a little better at it, you can take one bar and you can put all this stuff in there. It's just you get comfortable doing it and you can, you know, a lot of guys say you got to feel what you're playing or have some kind of a, you know, something to help organize what you do. Well, you do, you just get more comfortable doing so. and go to the sub thing. So I use that same kind of pattern to approach A foot. the same thing. I mean, I just, if I'm playing changes or I'm soloing through harmonic errors, to me it's really, it's the same thing. I always think of complete sets of pitches. So, so. playing but so that's that's how I'd approach it the melody you know, the melody straight ahead you can do those you can rock it or play around was it Benson did that all years ago I think he did that on this blue horizon album the first album I don't even remember but he had a nice I'll check that out and try, when I, I'll post a version and try to use that in it 